a good team. I would say you guys really play good and uh, you can see that everybody are really focused, everybody is into it and uh, you're going to be a competitive uh, team in the World Cup. So we have many NBA players, many EuroLeague players, so they have a lot of experience uh, in, in international games. So it's going to be it's going to be a competitive team. I know the guys, so nobody can you know nobody surprised me so much. But um, young guys that you have, they can really help the team. You know, like. Um, uh, Petrushev uh, he can help the team. Uh, he played really solid yesterday against us. Uh, veterans play solid. Uh, I mean, it was a good game for you guys. You cannot say that he's the best, one of the best players in the in the world right now. So you're always going to be missing him if he's not playing. So definitely. You miss him, but on the other hand, the, the, the team can be more as a team and they can, they can really be competitive on the World Cup. No, like I said, they, are really, they look really good as a team, you know, and uh, they, I, I believe they know the roles of the players. They know that some players came there to fight and, and I believe maybe that was missing last, last time in Eurobasket, that uh, many big names, but still in the team you need some guys who will make the, the dirty work that it's not shown in statistics or whatever. And I believe this year they have really like competitive team, they're going to be aggressive in defense, uh, they have size, I mean Serbian have size, and uh, of course Bogdanovic or Gudovic, they are uh, elite scorers. So. So points will be there. Milutinov under the basket is also, you know, great uh, reinforcement. So it's a lot of great players, and I believe, you know, Coach Pesic with his experience, he can, you know, he can fit and fix all this stuff in, in, on the court. So they're going to be really competitive. Yeah, simply because I was always, you know, watching and dreaming to play for for Coach Obradovic, and uh, I came him to learn. I came here to learn from him. It's an amazing basketball mind. Uh, I was also talking with um, with my ex coach, with Xavi Pascal, and he was always telling me that, you know, this is a perfect coach to to learn basketball, to understand the basketball, and that's that that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. So. I love to learn from the people who have more experience and more knowledge uh, on the basketball uh, aspect. And, and that, that was my decision, that's why I came here. Of course, everybody was talking about Kevin. He had a, a tremendous season. Zach, everybody knows that he can, you know, be a very, uh, very good and very difficult to guard on the uh, on the post game, but uh, I was really surprised with Lasort how he was playing. He really stepped up with his game. He was really difficult to, to stop at some point. And uh, Dante Exum was also a big surprise for me. I mean, maybe not big surprise because when you sign a player who was many years in NBA and he has experience and he has the quality, but uh, how the coach used him and how how he adapted in this uh, team of Partizan was really impressive and I believe last year everything clicked all together and it was just one game that uh, Partizan could win and that would be totally different outcome of the season. No, I mean, what you can expect from the fans, they are amazing, you know, I've been here the last game when, when already Partizan qualified to the EuroLeague uh, playoffs. And the atmosphere was, was unbelievable, you know. The, when the players were entering the court, even from the opponent team as we were with the Panathinaikos, uh, you have a goosebumps. So it's special place, uh, fan-wise. Fan uh, Basketball-wise, I believe we will be a very competitive team in EuroLeague. Um, I talked with the coach, I talked with the, with the assistant coach, with Bogdan, and 
he explained me how it works, works around, how is the Belgrade more or less, you know, the, the situation of basketball and life. So I believe it's going to be a very, very interesting season. Yeah, he explained me a little bit how it uh, looks like also in Partizan, uh, what he will be expecting from me and uh, what is his plan, more or less, for, for the team, for me. And uh, it was, that, that was it, you know, it was very straight, straightforward conversation. And uh, I believe, you know, like I said, uh, he has his plan, he always does something for a reason. There's, there's no way, there's nowhere, no, never, situation where he don't have any plan so so for sure it's going to be a good one pressure it's always pressure the most pressure you can always put on yourself by yourself so actually you know I'm really demanding from myself and uh, I understand the importance of the black and white color in this club and uh, you know, as long as you're giving a maximum, you can have good games, bad games, but in the end, you have to give maximum. And that's the, that's the key, that's the mystery, you know. If you do this, what you can say? Like, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works. So, there's no pressure for me, actually. I just, I'm just happy and excited to be in this uh, part uh, of, the, of the Europe and, and at this moment of my career to be with uh, with a great coach and the great teammates as, as it is with Partizan. I don't know about that. Like uh, the thing is that you know, for me, if I go to Partizan, is the most important for the team to win and to to be competitive. And at least if you are losing, to fight until the end, you know. So. I will give maximum, I will give 100%. Doesn't matter what kind of role I will have. Uh, Coach Aliko for sure has some plan for me too. And, uh, you know, just to do my job. If something more is needed, of course, I will try to do something more. But in the end of the day, the, the good of the team is the most important for me. And I will always play for the team and for the, for the fans who are coming to support their, their team, you know. So, I don't know, we will see how the, 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 the season will start, uh, we will see what kind of, let's say, team we will have because there will be still some signings, I believe, so the time will show. Yeah, I mean, in overall Serbia has so much history and so much tradition in basketball that uh, to be in this in this situation and learn from the people who, like I said, who have more experience and knowledge of basketball, it's it's something great for me on on, the, on this stage of my career. Uh, I believe you always have many good players with a big potential, many NBA players, many Euroleague uh, legends players. So it's a good environment. Uh, I believe your future as a team is very very good and very bright because of the young guys who are coming into or to NBA or to Euroleague, they they proving that they can play on the highest level. And, uh, you know, for sure there will be some similarities between Restar and Partizan rivalry like Pao and Oli. Uh, I don't know about the, you know, the fans, how they react between each other, if they fight or not fight, or it's dangerous or not dangerous. I just know that when I was in Pao, there was certain, uh, let's say, areas I should not go. and. And okay, I'm, I'm used to it. I, I don't have problem with that. As long as we, you know, as long as we respect each other on the court and and uh, respect the game of basketball, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I heard. I, I don't have social media, so I didn't follow all these, you know, small things. I just read a couple of articles that it was very close to come to Partizan with uh, Nicola, but uh, in the end, I think he chose Olympia Milano. You know, this is one of the best players in Euroleague at this point and uh, to have him in the team is always a benefit for every team that he is going. And, uh, you know, it's a shame that he didn't come here. He had his reasons and, and he made the, the best decision possible for himself. So, it's a shame, but okay, I wish him, you know, good luck and I believe he will, he will be still one of the most dangerous uh, outside scorers and, and 
at, uh, like players in offense in Euroleague. So that's 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 what I can say about him. No, Kevin, I didn't met him. Uh, I just know uh, Billy Baron is a very good friend of him, and we talk about uh, Kevin, even though when we were before in Zenit and, and all this stuff. So I didn't met Kevin. I met uh, Alexa Abramovic yesterday on the game. Uh, I know Danilo uh, and Jusic. And uh, of course, I know the guys who we play against, but. Never, let's say, it's not so personal. We're just gonna create this relationship during the, when the season starts. Yeah, yeah, he was asking me if you're excited, you know, about playing in front of these fans, because we were playing on Stark Arena and, uh, you know, okay, it was empty, but I remember when it was full and he was asking me, like, what is my feelings, how I, what, what I think about and all this stuff. So, yeah. Uh, we will find we will find the, the good chemistry I believe in the team. I also like combination, so if he needs me to help on this position, I will do it. It's not a problem for me. Uh, I believe I can help from three, four positions on the floor and uh, for certain minutes and you know with the with the with the good structure. That's how Xavi was using me sometimes. I was helping. When, Kevin, when uh, Kevin Pangos was our main point guard, sometimes I was helping him when he was tired and we didn't have the, the stronger rotation. So, yeah, whatever coach will tell me to do, I will try to help. Uh, as I said, for me, number one is the team. Uh, my statistics are far further and uh, I believe this, this can benefit the team. It's difficult to predict because, first of all, uh, all the teams, they are still not built. It's very early, uh, before the season. You don't know what's going to happen. Maybe some two, three NBA players will join two different teams. And then, you know, the structure of the EuroLeague, let's say, power rankings will change. But uh, at this point, I don't want to talk about, you know, if we're going to be a top final eight or top four or whatever. Uh, the most important is to build a team and start preparation to see how we react and how we, uh, how we will be managing the situation on the floor and then, then we will see. Everything will cr crystallize during the process. Yeah, a lot of players, but uh, in the end of the day it's a new team, so they will need a time to to play together, to understand each other, to know, you know, to know the roles of the team, of the other players inside of the team. Also, new coach, great coach, Coach Ergin, you know, he has a lot of experience in building something new because that's what he did with the FS. And uh, for sure, they're going to be competitive. They have a lot of great players uh, who can win games by themselves, actually. So, very, very strong team and we will see how they're going to manage the, the personnel and how they're going to create their own game. Yeah, I mean, there was some, some people in the hotel, you know, but um, I'm here two days. I'll be here two extra days and then we're going to Turkey to play um, another tour not, not tournament, but some games. And then we're going to Poland, so I will be here only like four or five days, and then I will come when uh, our preparation will start. So I think it's end of August. Yeah, for sure, of course, I'm excited and I uh, cannot wait, you know, end of August to come here and to start, you know, preparation with the team.